Morning guys, hope you're all well. <laughs> it's 20 past four. It's a lovely, calm, sunny morning. And I'm heading down to my local pond. Um, got a membership. I know there's some nice perch in there. I'm going to be trying something a little bit different today. Um, you'll see what it is when I get on the bank. I'm not overly confident because it is going to be such a nice bright sunny day i'm going to be working the light lures small lures for the perch this video is going to be uh, a bit of a compilation as well of a few other shorter videos that i've uh, i've taken over the last couple of days with um I managed to get out a couple of times. Went out with my mate Martin um, down on the local canal. Had a nice perch. It was pushing a pound. It weren't far off on the drop shot gear. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's see if we can repeat that nice catch. Look at this. Calm as you like. Hmm. I don't think it will have too long before it gets too bright and the fish are going to be put off. So I'll quickly show you my setup. Something a little bit different. A good friend of mine, Sanjay, who's been helping me out, trying to get me a, a decent perch, has put me on to BFS, Bait Finesse System. I think that's what it is anyway, I can't, I'll have to have another look. Basically, these reels are set up for casting ultralight lures. As you can see there, that's a two and a half gram jig head with a, uh, I believe five gram bullet head on it. Now, the reason I put the bullet head on is because this is new braid. I just want a bit of weight just to help the braid bedding and just till I get used to casting this. So, I warn you now, there might be a bit of swear in this video, especially if I start getting uh, bears nests. <laughs> but the, the rod, it's five foot, uh, one to five grams. I can't remember, I can't pronounce that. S swind, swindy, swind, swind, yeah, that's right, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's ridiculously light. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Let's see if that's, hope that's in focus. So I've christened the new rod. <laughs> I have. Beautiful little defiant perch. Come here, let's get this rock out. Absolutely beautiful. That is one of my favorite fish. Fish number two on the BFS. Another lovely little perch. There was actually a big one just down here. A couple of times the size of this. It went for the lure, dropped off, sort of backed off at the last minute. So let's get this baby put back. Just to get it on video, I was just toying with the idea of packing up and going home actually, but it's a little beauty. It's close to a pound. Mate Martin behind the camera. Hi. So I've managed to get this little jack, little micro pipe. It's on a Berkeley, I uh, can't remember the name of them, but cracking little fish. Hard little bit. Get put back. Hopefully the first of many. Yeah. It's not, it's not a 
Tidy size. Fins up for us? No, I don't think so. Cracking fish. Yeah. It just shows you. Yeah. The size of the mouth. So yeah, it wasn't a bad, um, wasn't a bad session today. You know, I've christened the rod, which is which is always good. It's going to take some getting used to. I don't, uh, I don't quite know how people flick the bait lure in it like a, a square foot area at twenty yards. Where it's beyond me that, but I suppose I'll get there in practice. Um, camera's just there. We go. Um, Got to get a massive shout out to Sanjay, you know, for putting me onto this because it's I, I'm going to enjoy this. I can see it. It's it's so delicate. It's 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 just it's great fun. I mean that perch was it wasn't massive, you know, it was, it was close to a pound, probably not quite. And on this little setup, it was just it was brilliant, you know, great fun. The rods and the reels, it's pronounced Sirenoia. I've put it in the description. Um, <laughs> I couldn't remember what it was called this morning. It was it was too early, but yeah, Sirenoia. Apparently, they are about as cheap as you'll get um, when it comes to BFS fishing. Uh, the reels, I believe, retail at about 50, 60 quid. The rods retail a little bit more, sort of seventy to a hundred, from from what I can gather. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Didn't cost me that. I got it cheap um, off of a friend of mine. Adam so thank you very much for that mate um, yeah it's good fun it's it's a learning curve for me I'm I'm not going to deny that you know I'm used to fixed spools you know I can put bait anywhere you want with a fixed spool so learning to do it with a bait cast I mean you, you all know I can use a bait cast uh, use a multiplier this is different again this it's 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 it's, it's delicate you know, these great meat hooks aren't designed for being delicate. But uh, I will get there. Just notice there's a little uh, a little knot in my leader there. So I'll have to, I'll have to change that. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. It is, it is uh, something that I'm definitely going to be getting into. Apparently this reel will cast two and a half grams comfortably, which is what that jig head is. It's two and a half grams so I'm definitely doing something wrong. But like I said, it's all a learning curve. I will be going out again. I'm hopefully later in the week. Uh, I'm going to try, possibly, and get down the canal. See if I can get another perch. Maybe even a Xander. I've never caught a Xander. I've only ever hooked into one. And I lost that. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Again. Big thanks to Sanjay and big thanks to Adam. Big thanks to uh, Marty as well for being on the camera. <laughs> I'll see you all guys in the next video. Thank you very much.